warning, this video may contain potential spoilers. From the defunct developer that makes the best ass, Japan Studios. And the guy who was once responsible for Final Fantasy VI and Mario JRPG, but now is the director of an IT security company because it provides more moolah. Yasuyuki Hasebe Comes a game that someone may have played some Dance Dance Revolutions and thought it would be a good idea to implement that on a JRPG. Ah, And why am I keep missing? And so, I made this video to ask you the slithering question. Have you seen Legends of Dragoons? Take a look at a game that so many fans are hoping for a remaster. But we know that it's just not gonna happen. Because PlayStation is busy releasing games that people don't care like The Last of Us. I mean, why did they do that? The game just looked good enough already in the PS3 and it was a remaster version on the PS4. And what is this crap? Part 1? We already played the whole game once, come on man! Unless if you make the game like Final Fantasy VII Remake and change the story by fighting some shadow demons, I don't think you should make part 2. Naughty dogs. Get to meet Dark and the gang in a journey to save the world from a dangerous black dude. And unlike many JRPG that you are familiar with, this one does not start your game in a bed waking up to some sunlight. Instead, it will impress you with the PlayStation first voiceover CGI. I mean, at least from what I know. So, this is her. Immerse yourself with a plot so thick that you will seem on Shanna and Rose and maybe sometimes Meru but surely not Miranda because nobody cares about that bitch but don't worry even if we lost our healer we we'll still have Meru to heal Explore the vast magical world of emptiness by walking, opening chests, collecting stardust, flooding by the bonfire, riding on a boat, dancing with Meru, riding on a ship, flirting with some princess, rolling around in the air, and playing some ah, Pac-Man. Ah, ah, ah. No! I say no! Don't come near me! Don't you dare come near me! But actually I should fight them? Do they have like crazy nice experience? Am I doing the right thing? Like I'm trying not to get them, right? But in a way I kind of feel like I'm doing the wrong thing as well. Nah! -uh. Pac-Man! I can't go up, I can't go up, if I go up, I'm gonna get stuck. Last guy, last guy. Ah! Uh, no, 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 no! I don't know what is happening! Okay! Okay. Nice. Enjoy the classic JRPG turn-based fighting system like attack, but it's a rhythm game Or defend to heal some or item to buff and debuff and item again to deal magic or Transform yourself to a lizard based living thing that they call Dragoon And use epic cool skill like fireball Fire Dash, Explosion, Healing Moonlight, Raining Children, God's Power, 
Ice Lands. Diamond Dust. Oops, I mean, not this Diamond Dust. Another Diamond Dust. Yeah, this one. Sucking Blade P Heal. And the Gates of the Moon. So basically this game is Go Go Power Ranger. <laughs> Introducing Dart, the dude from high school DXD. Rose, she comes in every month. Shanna, our lovely healer. Lavitz, the Green Ranger. Albert, the Green Ranger too. Hatchel, the old man that you don't want to mess with in every anime. Meru, the Yuffie. Miranda. Who? Congo. The bench fill in reserve that nobody want to use. The Legends of Dragoon Hey guys, thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, remember to give it ratings and I do try to stream on Twitch every single day if I can. And yeah, come and hang out. We'll see each other around.